or oh, this is not school stuff, right? No, it's down by the end. That's what that stuff is. Northwest, oh, communication. Here's the water leak. Yes. Is your basement full or? No. Okay. No. Luckily. <laughs> huh. Well, as dry as it is, you're lucky to have water leaking. There's a lot of people there that when it gets drier and drier, they run out of water. You have to run out of water. No. <laughs> not, not yet. Well, you know, that's the other, that's the other problem with water. So when you have enough. That is true. That's right. That's true. Yeah, the few of us have experienced that. It's pretty serious. Don't get too much water. <laughs> my water, my grandma is. water. <laughs> Session for highway personnel. Please, thank you. Well, yes, please. Okay, that will be the case. Then. And we'll include that with the employee policy discussion. That would be that I'm in executive session. All right, Marie. Yeah. <laughs> You're on first. Um, well, we went on vacation for a week up to our family's camp up in Derby and uh, came back and the uh, outside spigot for the hose, um, we think maybe somebody was trying to go through the tires that are in our backyard in kind of a little pile. We don't think it was like an animal because it hasn't happened yet. Um, something fell over and broke off the end of the spigot. My husband fixed it, of course, so it stopped running, thankfully. <laughs> um, but it dumped, I believe it was like 71 thousand gallons into I guess the yard mostly sure. not as much into our basement. Um, Did you have any damage in your basement? No, no okay. we've got like one of those French drainage systems and a sump pump and so that it's not any any more damage than it always is. Um, it's not like a finished basement or anything. You're just so. here to tell 
tell us about your crazy water bill? Uh, yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, when I called, I called as soon as it, you know Monday morning rolled around just to see, like, hey, can we get a reading, see how long it was running, because maybe okay. it was a day, maybe it was all week. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it was probably all week. Um, and I believe it's going to be it's over six hundred uh, dollars for the bill. So. What do you think of that? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't go to a better town. But <laughs> um, I mean, if we have to call, like, homeowners insurance, I can call the police or anything, but it's not even, like, I don't know. I it's, understand. It, it's, I understand. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's happened. It just is, uh, well, nothing, yeah. as far as we can tell, nobody broke in or, you know, it's just probably, who knows. <laughs> um, okay. But, yeah, that was the... So the faucet was broken off, you said, or? I, I should have my husband here. He's with the kids, unfortunately. Um, no, it's good that he's there. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what okay, I think. So, <laughs> so you'd like us to you'd like you'd like us to consider that as you'd like to take that into consideration in your water bill? Is that what you're asking? Yes, yes, if possible. What's your average bill usually? Usually, we don't go over the. Whatever the threshold is, I, I'm not even really sure what the threshold is, but usually it's just the same same amount, like it's an unmetered amount or whatever. Ninety-five dollars. Yeah, for yeah, and um, we have a pool that we had filled, and then the last whatever the last quarter it was, it was maybe hundred and ten or something. It was like slightly over. Um, I don't. How big is the pool? It's like one of those ones that you build and set up from Walmart. Oh. It's not very big. My Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean it's not like a very big one, but it's now we've now let the water out of that before this whole thing. We had to let it all out because it got really super bad algae and it was gross. Okay. Um, anyway, usually we don't we don't have that big bill. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the board will consider okay. your request to. Uh, yeah, usually we are pretty, yeah, understanding in that. Well, yeah. yeah. I'll make a motion. We average out our bill for what care loss to keep paying theories or something. Mm -hmm. Go with that. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. So it'll just be an average of the last two bills. So far. Yeah. Come right here. All right. Understandable. Thank you. I'm glad that you didn't have any property damage. Me too. That was our uh, first thought. You went right to that case of thinking it's it's full. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, that's a. Where do you live? Um, up on Pleasant Street. We live on Pleasant Street. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good thing. No damage is done. Yeah, I think luckily we're on and off the hill. Just went into the yard. We'll see. Yeah, there too. That's good. Do you have the, uh, do you have a uh, tax tree in this file somewhere?
What are the, what's this list of property here? The exemption? You're on a veteran or something? That's an exemption. Okay. Yeah. 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 Stuck in the, uh, the state's uh, number, but uh, it is a, and the states, the states went up. I can see the point there.
What did you say again? 4168 last year. Russia would be where you want to cut the budget. Just overall, I would just, yeah. Well, a lot of that is just anticipated costs when we're doing the budget anyway.
I said, if you didn't take the full, if you didn't go 80, you could split that go 40. Total reduction? Yeah, it's like 40, you can go 40,000. I mean, if, you, if, if, we, if we go with the same tax rate and we run a deficit, we run a deficit. That's all right. We'll, we'll survive the deficit. We'll have to, the deficit will go into the next year. But if we, if we make, if we make the green, if we make it to January with the 41.5, then we have to overtax the people. Mm -hmm. So it's a question of, you know, is there that much room in the healthcare? There might be, but that's quite a little chill. Sure, we'll just borrow the money to cover the cost, and we'll, we'll borrow the money to cover the cost, and, and uh, you'll have to take care of that deficit in the next budget. So we've done it both ways. We've, like, oh, we've had too much money, or I mean, not too much money, but we have had a surplus, and we carry the surplus into the next year to offset the next year's budget. Mm -hmm. It can go in a year like this year, that might not. Mm -hmm. you know, three cents, three, three and a half cents, is it? Is it three and a half cents? Yeah. Yeah. Is it 80,000 feet? Yeah, it's 83 for 83,000. Thank you. 
Okay, the motion is going to be for 41.5, 41, 41 and a half cents, is that correct? Yeah. 41 and a half cents, and it's going to raise one million one hundred and two thousand and twelve dollars correct? Roughly? Roughly, yeah. And all those in favor of that number? Aye. Aye. Very good. That's what it will be. Thank you. 
geographic area to try to promote broadband access. And that means that the CUD can go after funding and can get a revenue bond, but uh, it cannot use any taxpayer revenue. And if uh, it fails, it's like a, they can't pay back their bond, uh, the municipality is not liable for that money. Uh, so the current CUD is working on creating a business plan and feasibility study for the region. And then um, once that is created, then they would move towards trying to potentially do a public-private partnership or finding some other funding to start implementing uh, expanding broadband access. Okay. So this is, this is Sean. So basically, um, what it does is it gives all the towns some buy-in in controlling um, some of the infrastructure for broadband that gets sent out into the community. Um, by becoming a member of the town, gets to appoint one representative to the CUD plus an alternate, or you can have a couple alternates if you want it, but each municipality gets one vote for the, for the CUD. And if a municipality sometime down the road decides, you know what, we want to get out of this, we joined it five years ago, we no longer want to be part of this, then they're not liable for any equipment or any of the infrastructure that the CUD has in the community. It's still the equipment's still a member of the of the CUD body. It's not it's not on the municipality to keep. Yeah. And the municipality oh sorry, you continue, Sean. Yeah, I was just gonna say the hope is that the revenues that are generated from the CUD from you know deploying the broadband in the communities that that will pay for the maintenance of the infrastructure, um, you know, five, ten years down the road, as needed. That, that's the theory behind it. Would there, uh, would there be a per capita charge similar to solid waste or Northwest uh, Regional Plan? No, there's no, there's no charge. That's in the statute. That's in um, Title 30, Chapter 82 of the Vermont Statutes. It specifically states that, that the district doesn't have the power to levy, assess, apportion, or collect any tax upon property within the district. Right. But this is so. all paid for by, by the CARE, in part by the CARES Act and by um, federal, federal funds. Is that specific to this uh, district? I mean, you said it's similar to uh, solid waste or regional planning. Yeah. It's set up on those lines, but I mean, the, the town contributes uh, on a per capita basis uh, based on the population. You know, I, I just wondered if that might be the same case here. I'm not saying it wouldn't, you know. No, I, so that's, yeah, you don't expect to, you don't expect you don't expect to ask for that because every year there's a there's a there's a cost associated with uh, regional planning and Northwest Solid Waste. No, it's, it's explicitly stated in statute that they cannot take tax revenues from the towns. Um, so they have to get their funding through uh, grant sources, so things like the EDA CARES grant and then loans. Well, that would, be, that would be the case. You would ask for a grant from the town, and it would be a worn item on the, and then the town, I mean, I mean, uh, the county gives out grants every year to different organizations here. I didn't know it. if you were going to run this operation, I mean, if you're going to take this on and, and ask for that from the towns as, no. as, as part of your maintenance or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, you don't expect to do that. It's illegal for us to do that, for the, not for us, but for the district to do that. It would be illegal. Well, really? Okay. Yeah, it's right, it's right there in the statute that says that, that um, there's no taxes, nothing like that, nothing on property, there's no municipal assessment, nothing like we do our regional planning. Well, re uh, regional, regional planning, is, it, it's on a ballot every year in the town, so, it's in, you know. Yeah, we are, and um, yeah, there's a few things that are on the ballot every year, but the district won't be. Okay. Yeah, I can, I have the statute. Okay. 
Okay, what is on the front? If the town wanted to get, if a, if a, if a town wanted to give you money, you couldn't take it. <laughs> that's the first, that's the first time I've ever heard that. And this is, I just want to clarify too. Uh, for, for the uh, region, yeah, we would turn down money, right? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Sean, were you looking on uh, having us consider to give an answer back to you in this matter? You, I mean, I don't know what this is. There's no real timeline? Okay.
All right, we'll put this, we'll put this on the next.
troubleshoot some of our problems and see if they can fix them. Where are they going? Massachusetts. Is this one going to give us a daily lead? The what? Was this one going to give us a daily lead? Remember one of them they talked about we could we could just yeah. here at the office look I think at so. every yeah. meeting. I take it they were going to spend a couple of days up here with us trying to I want to say it, and te teach us how to. Have you spoken with them on the phone? Yeah. You're familiar with the media. Yeah. Did they? What kind of? What kind of? Were you on the phone with them or in person? Yeah. Yeah. On the phone. Yeah. Was there a pause on the phone when you told them what meters you had or, or anything? No. <laughs> software that I build with are all three different. So you know, have to get something that's compatible with one well, Yeah. So when we brought this issue up to them, what was their response? Like they threw their hands in the air and they were like, oh, sorry. This is what they gave us when they put the water system in, what we have now. Right. But this company here, you mean? Yeah. Like yeah. When, you call, when you call them and have them on the phone, you're like, here's the issue with your product and what you've given us. Yeah. Well, we well, I don't think this is their product. This is a company that is going through and doing the upgrades because our handheld next year is no good. So without the handheld, we can't read them. I think it's good. It's just if it breaks down, it's not good. Like yeah, there's no more support no, for it. Yeah. Through, through iPhone. So Ferguson, where we bought all the meters and the handheld and everything like that, is giving you no support, no I called him, I talked to the guy down there when I went after the hydrant about it, and he said he'd have their new salesperson call me. Well, she called, I didn't answer it, so I called her back. She's never called me back. I'm just having a hard time with them right from the beginning. <laughs> and now they've switched meters completely. They don't even sell these kind of meters anymore. So, if we spend the money on this and you upgrade that and those meters are already dying out, then we're going to have to put in different meters because they don't sell those kind anymore. Well, I think they sell them. I don't know if we can still get them. I've been getting them. But there's like no work. I don't understand why that Paul Randall didn't call me back because he's... He might not just on vacation. Well, that could be. That's all I was wondering. This time of year. Yep. So, so, we have made it to issue on the reader. And the time is, and this is something the town's going to deal with over and over again. Or like it. Or like it. Yep. You know, you got like comments every two, three years, you can get an upgrade or something. They're old, but the system in what must be six, seven years now, maybe? Just five years anyway. At least five. At five. least five. What, a year? Yeah, when we did the water system. The new yeah, we've only run into three. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but they've been in for five. five uh, yeah. yeah, I guess we were only building them for. The meters were in, but we had such a great time with you know, the hurricane meters. Remember the hurricane? Mm -hmm. One of them storms came into Florida and then we got two different shipments of meters. Meters that did one yeah. And then unbeknownst to us, half of them responded. It's a long story, these other board members don't want to hear it. Well, they'll hear it, don't worry about it. Uh, it's an old story. It's, you know, it's almost as good as a friend of that <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, it's worse than friend of that. said that. That's right. It's worse than uh, some of the other. Yeah, it's just a, it was, it turned into quite a boondoggle there between the storm and yeah, they didn't have enough meters. So what the hell was that storm? Lightning. Uh, I don't know. How many years ago was there? 
I don't know that I'm in favor of putting another nickel into it. I would like to get an actual cost of what it would be from Webb's. To change the meter. To change it, yeah. Because I can't see that we've had any fun at all with meters we've got. The only constellation is here that it was all done on negative interest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I can see where, I mean, the meters are good because, you know, like the mill, they're using a lot of water, not the mill, but the effluent. That was that one plant. Mm -hmm. It's using a lot of water that they weren't getting built for. Even homeowners. Yeah, same thing. Tighten up all the leaks and not wasting. Well, she, uh, Maria came in. She <laughs> had 70,000 gallons of water. She's on it, you know. It's good. Oh, and she was the one that had all the, the tire knocked the valve on. <laughs> whatever she, yeah. whatever she's concerned, you know. So she, like, yeah. I mean, you might have had a leak like that uh, ten years ago. You never know what. Or you were saying, well, what the heck's leaking? You wouldn't know it was leaking, huh? I said we wouldn't know it was leaking, really. You, well, you've got three, four of them things around town, and you think you've right. got a water leak somewhere. No, they just got their own. Yeah, I remember that kind of because they are. People are more aware of their water system at home than they were previously. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd like to see a proposal for changing water. It's just to see how much it's going to cost. You know, change everything over. Right. Because I know if it's a better system. Yeah, if they have better customer service. Yeah. Well, I'd like to know whether Mr. Dolly's had it. Because I, I have a feeling that you're going to get this upgrade and stuff, but if we, like you said, if those meters are already starting to give you some trouble, five years from now, you can be fighting with all of us. I don't know. $300 a meter?
to their home with a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Hostage. Or... But it doesn't seem to be a Vitron that's doing the upgrade. It seems to be a separate company. I think they're farming it out to other companies to do the upgrades. average it for two months and then the reading comes back, it's less than what we've averaged. Well, you see how it works, see all of them get a lot of meters. Right. And if, if, if they had all the same problems, it would be like, uh, See, they say, no, just think of the big city. <laughs> St. Albans has changed their new years recently? Yeah, I think they just did it a few years ago, a couple years ago, maybe. Well, maybe you can find out what the meter reader likes and their, or dislikes. Because there's someone out there in the same position as you. Yeah. Poor you know? Poor guy. Right. <laughs> well, you know, he's, he's having, you know, to maintain him and going out. And, right. Yeah. Is there any of the same confusion there that we've had going on out there? Right. Yeah. Or are we just keeping it secret? Okay. okay. Oh, now, Joe's issue. What we've done, well, I sent a sample in a month and a half ago, I think it was, of the water. And it came back with uh, coliform, but no E. coli at this point. Mm -hmm. So a coliform could come from crown water. Yeah, most of uh, When they had a leak where they put the new shut off, we dug that up and fixed that shut off. And when we dug that up, we drug, dug the whole water line across the front down to the driveway. And down towards that, there was no leak in the line. Down towards that driveway, there is a gravel vein that goes up in there. Now, that's where the previous water line entered the house. Because they put the septic system in and had to move it to the above grade. So I don't know if there's water coming out of the system or if there's I just following that gravel. I stopped there at the road in front of Joe's and got the port. I walk up there. Mm -hmm. Greg, those driveways here. So I walk about from me to you uphill and about three or four steps, about 30 or 10 paces from the center of the road. There's water coming out of the side of the bank. Right in the middle, basically. Well, no, I mean, it's probably about 10 feet. Up from his driveway? No, about from me to you. Up from his driveway. Water's running down. Uh, there's water, you know, up on the slope. Coming down. It's pooled right there. There's a pool of it. Well, the guy that dug it said all it is is a clay bowl that they put that leach field in. So the water's got no place to go, but huh. it doesn't evaporate, it's got to come up and out of it. Well, you're saying there that this previous, or this uh, water line trench that you saw on the ground 
previous. In I had water coming out of there. Right, but that's down closer to Joe's, right on his right. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is water from, this is water I'm seeing, like, from here to the book shade. Up from his, right. you know, up on the, off the. And the water that goes into the house is right on the side of the driveway, their driveway. It's where the curb stops is now. But it used to be close to my driveway. Used to be right now. That's where the gravel lane is. Right. The curb stop one. Or yeah. The what is it? I did for him, you're talking about. Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't think that water goes, comes, goes down here. Right. And that's waters. Yeah. I don't know. And that water's. It's not normal. Now I don't know if you put a catch basin in there. What? That's not what. <laughs> but it's coming from somewhere. It's coming down. But it doesn't appear it's going to stop. No. No, no I mean, I went to another winter, but it's facing up over my I went 30, you know, you know I, I faced it out, you know, I faced about three feet, like most of us. And I'm 30 feet, and there's, I mean, I'm out of the, I'm assuming 25, you know, 25 feet in the middle of that road. He's kind of running out of where he went. Right. And I wouldn't go digging up in there next to that leach field because that could cause food. Responsibility is that to have done that. You know. Right, but then on the on the uh, well, we got we got an issue here with that system. If it's there's got to be some explanation as to what is going on there. There's no one else has water coming out of there. It's long running down the side. Uh, I've called the engineers, they've come up and looked at it, and they say there's nothing wrong with it. I put dye in it one time, and the dye didn't come through. So they're saying it's a working system. Where is the, it's not, yeah, it's working, you know, working for them. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, I know. Uh, so what is the company that put that in? GDH. Yeah. Hmm? GDH. Is that the engineering firm? Take your own. Take your own and. So. So the neighbor that you, the neighbor the the the, uh, the the your neighbor doesn't seem to be concerned about it. It's not her job that's affected. I mean, I I talked to my lawyer. Uh. I can sue them, I suppose, if I need to, but it's going to be suing the insurance company. Um, but. Well, we get a number from this TDH or whatever. The town call. We'll get some kind of, we need to get some kind of dialogue going or some kind of conversation going on about this. And the, uh, the neighbor. Yeah, then most of their conversation is it's working according to them. You tell them it's not, and we want to meet with them. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. It's not, it's right. not working, and we want to meet with you. Well, you tell them that there's a problem, and then you keep asking them. By the time they turn the pump How many down, years have you driven in that driveway, Joe? 30 years. Okay. So we have a historical record of what the driveway is, appears like in the wintertime. And that's not the case anymore. And nothing else has changed. So would you suggest that we'll talk to them, see about digging, place that water back? Yeah. I mean, that's how I find water in the ground. Yeah. Whether or not it's a working system or not, they're the ones who put that system in. And never had an issue with the water over the driveway until they put the system in. And we've had an issue ever since they put the system in. Yeah. Now, where? It's not in, the in my opinion, it's not the town's problem. It's the town didn't go put that system in. Right. But it's affecting the town because 
Mm -hmm. The well, other thing is, I just got a note from my uh, post office lady, and because the water is constantly running down there, it's washed the shoulder out, plus they raised the road three inches, so she wants me to go fill that up. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not paying to so, turn gravel and fill up the road. It's we, uh, I think the town needs to become the, uh, we got three parties here. We have the neighbor, the homeowner, with the, with the water's coming off, and we have the town. Those are the three right there. The town has an issue. The neighbor has an issue. So we need to kind of get this resolved before we're. The ice build up. Ice is out in not just this driveway, not just the old driveway, but it goes right out in the road. Right. What did we get financial when we called the state on it? What was the answer? Just as it was working. Yeah. They didn't care about the water. Mm -hmm. We have the numbers that you guys, so we can give them a call. Well, I'd like to see what the engineers, I'd like to see what the engineers uh, drawings, before you dig there, we should have a, the engineers drawing so that we'll know what's going on in the ground where that water's coming up. And if you dig straight down there, there's water coming up straight out of the ground right there, and that's not in the system, well, fine. But if you dig down in the ground, and the water's coming out of the bank, that's the system. Yeah. Plain and simple. Yeah. Right? It's, it's dry right now, so that water. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be there's no one else in the town, no one else in the village that has water coming up out of the wall. Right. Most of the village is sand. Right? Right. So, that's my, you know, if you know where the, if you get the, it's like here it is, and that's what the engineer, whoever put it in, if they laid it out correctly, that's what should be right there. Right. You know? Yeah. Well, anyway, we need to, the next 10 days. Okay. We'll get over. Next, this fall, not this week, but the following week, Seth will be, Seth will be back. And we can get some kind of answers about down there. And then fix it. They don't think they get an old spring or something when they're bringing that out. Like Greg says, there's no water coming up from anybody else. Yeah. You know, in the area. I mean, where did you run into a pump log down there or what? Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. When they were digging that up, they, there's an old spring or something there. So, for that water to run that much, you can't be they flush your toilets that much. Man. Yeah. I mean, how many people? It does that? seem to air. Sometimes it looks like it's almost dry enough, yeah. but then it, it's mm -hmm. running to you. Well, where is the water, the town's water line in right there? Right it's, at the edge of the blacktop. It's right on the edge of the blacktop. Pretty much. Maybe a foot and a half in. And, uh, oh. So. But it isn't possible to allow you going to the house after the curb stop. Their driveway is here and the curb stop is right there right, on the edge. Probably eight yeah, feet. Eight feet well, it's possible then that that, that line that. is leaking. Correct. From so the so curb stop to the, 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 the From the curb stop going into the house, it's possible that the line is leaking. And it would, it would go down the hill and then come out of the ground. Is it wet? Well, yeah, if you were to take a car and just try to get No, 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 I mean in the driveway where the curb stop is. I'll tell you right now. Well, the, the curb stop is just south of the curb. You walk off the side of the road and you walk up over that mountain, you better have your boots on because you're going to go into mud that deep. You're going to go right into mud. Because I see the other day somebody drove off just about halfway in front of the lawn and the front tire. Bottom down, the car bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it just, I mean, it's just. And it was dry. Yeah. That's a constant flow of water. 
from something. It's either the service, it could be the service line. Who put that in? Uh, that same yeah, the guy concern? Who you. Huh? The guy who prepared for you. Menard. That did, who? Menard. Menard, yeah. That did the uh, system. Okay, so it could be, could be a break in the pipe. Yeah. When they came back and did, the they came back and looked at it, right? Well, well the curb stop was leaking. So there was water coming down the side of their driveway and soaking down the road. So they dug the curb stop up and fixed that. And that's when we dug the whole line just to make sure the town line wasn't leaking. And that the shutoff, the corporation, going into the old entrance was shut off. Well, <laughs> take your back up. Is, is that like the other one where it was going across the street? No. No. Well, let's try to contact all the different parties. We've already contacted one. <laughs> and the county, is, you know, we need to get a couple other parties and it's like, we need, no one likes this. No. Especially Joe. Yeah. You know. So, okay. All right. But we'll try to get that on the, not this week's work, but we'll try to find out some information this week and try to get that on next week's work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're, we're going to run out of good weather. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, you see, I, we put a fire hydrant in down there.
contacting our HR for more information. Nick, motion to table until second. Until meeting. Seconded by Joe all in favor. Wave water and sewer late fees for July 2020. Nick asked Nick asked about if there were a decision on the use of town land on Sweet Hall Road. So that's motion to keep it as status quo. Seconded by Joe, all in favor. Staff to tell updated the board on highway projects. The board requested that this winter boarding house be plowed straight through Shawville Road. Employee policy was tabled until next week. 9.05, we entered back into executive session. 9.45, exited, discussed highway raises. Seth Fickell and Gianni. Gianni. Uh, our own rates have changed. 9.45, meeting adjourned. Reported by Kim. Dupre. We'll make a motion to accept the minutes. Yeah, motion to accept the minutes. Motion has been made, seconded. I'll second. All those in discussion? Actually, I have one, one thing on that. What does it say? Can you read Seth's motion was to keep the wood that has this? Did we amend that motion at the time? Well, yeah. That is kind of. Yeah. But we, that under, we understand what we're. All right, but I think for like future, you know, we understand that five months from now, if we revisit it, like, I want to make sure that his motion was clear in the minutes. Well, the motion was, or the. Nick? Nick, I asked about this it. is you asking yeah. a question on the use, if there was a decision on the use of the town land off Sweet Hall Road. Right. Set motion to keep as status, keep as status quo. Keep, I guess I don't know if you mean to, if it needs to say as, or just keep status quo. Keep it in the town's possession. I, feel like, I, feel like I think the motion was, I think the, I don't know, well, the word of... There was some confusion over a column in the town forest or just town land, I think. I think the end result was that we agreed to keep it, you know, it's status quo as town land, but with the intent to allow that group to pursue the grants. To move you know, forward. To continue, to continue their work, yeah, the work that they've been doing on it. Not just it's left and abandoned and we're going to keep it and nothing's happening with it, but they can still move forward with what they're doing. I know that was part of the amendment. Well, I think that the town, the, the motion here was keep as, keep as status quo. Okay, status quo. Do you want a definition of status quo? No, that's just the way it's recorded. That's not necessarily the way it was, the motion was. It was recorded as status quo, but we have a discussion okay, about so that. Okay, so what, so no, I have a discussion here. Okay, what is the definition of what status quo is? Mm -hmm. is what it was before. Which was town land, right? right. Sweet all of them. The right. town has really not done a lot with or whatever. Right. The, the committee was formed, the select board formed a committee to answer the question of the if this all came out of, can go back to where we square one? The flight board asked the town at town meeting as to whether or not the town should sell it or whatever. Right. It got tabled at right. town meeting because the board was interested in either, like, okay, if this land down here, we're not doing anything with it, mm -hmm. can we just uh, sell it or whatever? We didn't want to step on any, you know. So, then the board created a committee right. to go down and, you know, look over the land and get back to the select board. And they came back, and we, and then the board is, the board also spent money 
on the survey, and mm -hmm. I identified the property. Right. Uh, so, and then you got the report back from the county course. Right. You came into the meeting and. Right. So, the committee, and, and the question, my question is there, does the committee really exist anymore? They've done their job. And then what Seth is saying is like, guys, well, we're right back to square one where we were, where we, to me, in my mind, we're back right, right back to square one. They decided, they, they're recommending to keep the property. Mm -hmm. We've got it measured out. Mm -hmm. And their work is done. That is not the way they presented to us, and right. that's not the way that I interpreted. interpreted my motion. My motion was to keep sure. it town land, which it is, yeah. and make a motion that the committee, or the way I was trying to say it, but I didn't say it, I guess, was make it so the committee, because the way they presented to us was they wanted to continue their work to make it a town force, and they didn't want us to say that you know, us to make the decision of, you know, we weren't going to keep it as town land and their work would be done, and they would spend time not making it town for us. Okay. So, so that's, that's, yeah. All right. So, so that, the way I'm understanding is their, that committee is not done. They will stay together, and if we say, yes, we're going to keep it as town land, they will then move it forward to making it into a town for us or a usable town property. Should that be voted by the town before it's made into a town force? What? Should it be voted by yeah, the well, town? That's my that's where I'm like getting that's where I'm going here. Is that like this they told you what this is a this this is a question here for the town to decide. At a town meeting. And then at that town meeting they would create a a uh, a uh, what do I want to say? Plan force or plan? No, no, no. You'd have a town force committee. Right. They would be uh, appointed by the board, or probably it would be appointed by the select board. But it would be created at town meeting. So I'm saying there, what I'm saying is that you, like the committee that's on it now, Okay, it was appointed by the board to go out and to do the research, whatever, and they came back for like three years or so, you know. We got we got the hint, whatever. But now if if they'd like if there's interest in creating a town forest, okay. Then that should be the town that should be a town meeting. And then you can end up with a, a, a appointed board by the by the town. That we didn't report we didn't appoint these people to go on this committee to be town force committee. Okay. Yes. Right. That's that was just way. a question that's like not, what do we do with the land? They, that was the, at the time it was a question, what do we do with the land? That's not the way they presented Correct. their presentation to us. From that that's not the way they presented it to us. Isn't that yeah. how that's the way I look at it? We it, it wasn't about Creating a town forest at that point. This is just a piece of property on on Sweet Hollow Road. We had to decide whether or not we're going to sell. Well, we were just trying to see what the best use for it was and what there was there. You know, we didn't even know where the boundaries and stuff were. So when they, <coughs> so this committee said they would study it to see, you know, what possible uses there was for it. If there was timber there of any value or you know, any other give us recommendations on that and whether and I think that committee came in and recommended to the board that it be used as a town force. Well, well that so then we put it up for a vote to see if that's the, that's the confusion I think where the, the way they presented to us is Keep having a town force, and that's where, you know, okay. that's why I need to know it. So, this motion here, much other than well, right now, this motion here, is saying keep it in town lane. Well, it's status quo in town lane. You want to amend the 
Do you want to change this to reflect the, to uh, pursue the, the town force in the next town meeting? Is yes. That right? Yes, something along the line of that. Okay. Yes. And you would want to amend it to say that you would like to accept the recommendation from the oh, committee. The committee that, yes. That we yes. bring it to the town for yes. the town force yes. because yes. the land's not worth yes. much anything else. Yes. Yes. That's, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Status quo to me is, it's like, I didn't know we had land on Sweet Hall. Right. To continue, to continue the process of a town meeting. At a town meeting, but, or maybe. So we talked about it earlier. To move, to move the item forward as the recommendation, to, 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 yes. to agree to, what was it, accept the recommendation and move forward with that, present that. Yeah. That's what, that's where I'm um, explore the, the, we're going to explore the possibility yes. of creating a fan, uh, let's say explore the possibility but do of the board actually discuss this or if this is just what she's telling us we can do with it. I don't think they had a meeting about that. We we like that's the way they are. The recommendation was it's not you can't develop it because the sand right. and the ale and everything else. It'd yeah. be best used as yes. Yeah. Because she could still get grants for us at no cost to her. You know, her services are free. Let's call it town wilderness. Right. Sure, we call it town wilderness. But her her services to get the grants would you know. And then there was also Dear Yes. Someone's supposed to approach the mill. Yes, that's so another that, Yeah. But that was their presentation, so but the overall recommendation that she agreed with us because she's not on the board. Okay, the, so we're going to amend the minutes to re keep the status quo and pursue possible or possible town force. Yes. How's that? Yep. At town meeting. Yeah. At town meeting. Yeah. Great. Did everybody get the thing that I sent to Ken? 
still going to pay off now. It was steady. You said 1275 or $12,750 for all three years. And you're forward that document. I don't know if I can send it to you guys or not. Okay. I think I sent it to all you single or yeah. by yourself. Okay. Are you sent it to you to share? I sent it to you to share and it was okay. posted when you sent the agenda. So if you look at that. Not the ATV one. The RHR one. I think they're both on there. Okay. Do we want to go with that proposal? Or do we make a motion to accept? That on it. It's well within the budget. And your patient is Can I say that thing one more time? I guess my other question is, you know, the other ones gave us a three year. We're not, we don't have to sign up for a three year with them, right? We can do one year with RHR, and if we don't like it, there's issues, we can go with someone else right. in the future. That's this, this, uh, Then again, this company may not do that, and they may be right on, spot on. 
But that's my reservation, is I've seen it more times than not. Or you're not getting the quality that you should because you're taking the low number. I understand, America was built on the low number. You know, the Empire State Building was built with the lowest bidder. So, that's just my reserva reservation on that. Yeah, there are, I mean, that drew red flags I mentioned the last time. Just because if you're the one that's outside of everybody else, why are you the one that's outside of everybody else? But I don't know the answer as to why they are. And the high one. Well, the rates are low. I mean, they're, the rates are less. You know, one of the reasons. They're, they're not. And the fact that this guy lives in Sheldon, supposedly, and Greg, you don't know him. You know everyone in town. You know where they sit and have dinner? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's start on the west end. Let's start on the west end. Let's start on the west end. There's no way I have to. I don't know. Plus, didn't say Sheldon in Addison County? So he's a business manager for Addison Central School District, Sheldon, Vermont. I think we're right now. I just don't feel like we're going to get to the bottom of what the mystery is before it's time to jump and find out for ourselves. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Say that again? I said aye. Aye. You didn't ask any opposed, so it should have been aye. 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 I seem to have it, and the audience do have it, so we'll try the uh, R, R H R Smith.
you know, they, they, they did a good presentation. And I was just sort of like, you know, I'm not sure how we're going to move forward with the current state of things because, you know, my concern is I still want to give, I think it's a big enough change where like people, like said, people should have a say in it or at least more information. Mm -hmm. But I told her that, you know, should it pass, uh, it would probably be in her community's best interest to have our ordinance ready. So she volunteered to draft one that, you know, we could discuss and take a look over. So with whatever decision is made to pass an ordinance or not, there's, an or there's one already waiting for Sheldon. That's tailored to Sheldon. That's written to last. Who wrote it? KDN. KDN. KDN she she submitted that draft to us. Did she have help to write it? I don't have that information. She's pretty intelligent. Yes. I understand. Just, that has to I emailed everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, she does have all the statues and there and stuff. I mean, the one thing it's missing is. Uh, I, I question the age. There was two things. I, there's two things I question. Is there any way? Can we able to print any of these? Yeah, I can, print can you print, please? That the middle, I'll ask you that. There's two things I noticed about it that I questioned about. One was that they just, they just adopt the speed limits on that are posted on roads. I don't think that's necessarily the right way to do it. Right. Which I thought we there were you know supposed to be able to lower for ATVs and posted, but the ordinance doesn't have that, so that's not change we have to put in. Yeah, you would have to put that right. in. Right. And then, uh, now that I lost my train of thought on this one. Well, I'm 12 think. years of age. Doesn't have hours of operation. Does have hours of 10 to 6. The machines, the machines have 10 16. 7 to 10, 8. Huh? 7 to 10, sorry. I mean, the machines have, have, have a, most of the machines have a sticker on it that says it's not to be operated by anyone that's not 16 hours old. 7 to 10, yeah. Right. I would. I would say uh, 15 would be my lowest. Well, the the manufacturer says right on it. Oh, mm -hmm. 16. 16 year old. 15 to 16. 16. Yeah, I've got a driver's license. You know, down the road, don't you? No, you get a driver's permit to be on the town road. On a side by side with somebody, I suppose. But I don't have any problem making it 16. Mm -hmm. I don't like know what it says in the state. Yeah. I mean, the ordinance does. I mean, it covers oh, all. That's the required. I don't know. I'm so sure she wrote most of this through that. But the yeah. purpose of the ordinance, it, it classifies ATV as including side by side, whatever. So whatever your, your age is, it's got to be blanket cover both. So you got to go by side by side, one, I think, right? Well, I, I think there's two different parts of your discussion, Nick. Mm -hmm. I think there's. This is just the ordinance. No, no. I think there's one, the ordinance. Yes. And then two, which is the cross of us talking about the ordinance, is what is our plan? Correct. No, like, I, I think there's. I think it's. Two part discussion in one part. Right. <laughs> right. You're talking about roads, town roads. Who's driving on them now? <clears throat> Who's legal to drive on them now? No one. Well, yes. If you've got a registered vehicle and you have insurance and a license, you can drive on the road. And then there's that right away for ag vehicles, right? To use farms. There's ag vehicles. Yeah, right. Tractors. If he's it's changed. Change. It's changed. So if Steve, Steve could ride his ATV from his house to the barn in the corner. He can do that. That's, what, that's what I'm saying. He can't go town to town. No, no, that, but that's the only thing I'm talking about is ag. That's what I mean by ag. There's like, a bunch of ag related. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, ag related uh, motor vehicles out there. Yes. Tractors, trucks, different. Right. Little buggies. If you will, if they're in the, if they're, yeah. But other than that, it's supposed to be registered vehicles on the road. Do a long one. Bicycles. Mm -hmm. It's a whole different class of vehicle. Are we talking all town roads or just dirt town roads? She, it's in the ordinance. I mean, they, they classify what roads. Are exempt. It's all town. It's all town roads minus obviously minus 120, 78, 105. Those are all town roads. Exactly. It's a minus. The state. So they can drive right down through Jones Lake. Yeah, I do that. So obviously, like Seth was saying, the discussion on the ordinance itself, then this discussion of how do we go about this. And people that I've talked to in the community, I, I 
I, mean, I feel that overwhelmingly this will pass. It's just a matter of how do, how is the process of we, us going about this so that it doesn't, you know, annoy people the process itself that it was passed without people knowing it was going to be voted on or a heads up at least. So my idea, not an emotion, but just for discussion is I, th I see two paths. Either you can wait till town meeting day, which I don't think benefits the ATV community that wants to use it now. I mean, a good summer and they want to get out and be legal. Or the other thing would be is if it, we were to post this on the town website and let people know, you know, there's a 30 day comment period that we can get word out one way or the other that we're going to vote on this at one of our meetings like a month from now or just to kind of give them that warning of, hey, 30 days this is going to happen. You know, speak your piece about it. The problem I have with this is there's still going to be the legal because there's no way to get around town without going down state highway. We saw the, the yeah, cross, you go, right? Well, you go across some of them, but there's, I mean, the amount of ATVs that come down on 20 all the time, it's, you know, right. I don't mind it, but it's, the, you know, it's not going to help you legal. Is it? No, but still, it's all, it's all we are capable of doing. I mean, we can't, you know, go above what the state says. The state says highways are no, no. And I don't think they should allow the ATVs to go the same speed to do the... No, I think the 25 mile an hour speed limit yeah. is the max, in my opinion. 25 or 30, what do you want to do? I agree with 30. 25. 25, is that what Richard's was? I, I don't have... I mean, 30 would be all right, but I mean, well, depends. I mean, I would say... I'm really awful confused to me at that. And they'll say, well, it wasn't post. <laughs> but then Vasta will go over. They'll go and put yeah. signage on our road signs for ATVs. Mm -hmm. And Matt is, Matt does, right? But the way I'm. I mean, I don't have any problem with ATVs going down Bridge Street or Main Street going the speed limit. You're going 25, and then you're going 50. Right. Right. But well, that's it. You're going 25. I mean, if you can make it lower, you could put, you know, if you're going 20 miles an hour, you could put it. Yeah, just the, the same speed limit as the pulse is not. I don't do anything else. I didn't see on here. I don't, I don't know part of an ordinance that the other towns do is uh, that this is going to be renewed every year at town meeting. I don't know if that's something you actually put in the ordinance, or that's just, you know, an addendum, that's just common knowledge of how that works. But it seems like they should know that if this is abused, like the town can vote this away. But that's yeah. it, you don't put that at a town meeting, you can do it at any time. Right, okay. Not town meeting. Because you don't want to go to town meeting if you have a problem. And I'd also like to see. But at age 12, I don't know. I'd say right at the 16. But 
This was the draft that was submitted, so we can. So I'm looking at changes. I'm looking at both Newport and Williamstown that I found in here. Yep. And neither of those talk about operator ages that I can see. Newport does talk about speed, and and so does Williamstown. Town speed limit on town roads is 20 miles an hour unless otherwise posted. That's what it's on. And then Newport is otherwise posted by what? Uh, unless otherwise unless otherwise posted. So I think if Basta or that is unless otherwise posted, it, it can, I don't know what that means. That's what it says. Speed limit on town I mean, town highway is, is 20 miles an hour unless otherwise posted. So I don't know. Okay. And then uh, Newport is HB traveling on town roads shall travel on the right side of the highway in a single file with headlights on at a rate of a speed not to exceed 35 miles an hour. ATVs may not be operated within town between dusk and 7 a.m. Williamstown ATVs uh, may be operated, they go the other way, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. ATVs, and in Williamstown they have, ATVs may be operated on town highways between May 15th and October 15th. There's a warm in there in the winter. Yes. Last takes over. Yeah, but warm in the city of Polish, and really put it right here. In Williamstown, yearly review of ordinance to take place the first select board meeting in January after 2020. That's what they have. So it's obviously, it must be every year they we go through it. It wasn't, I didn't see it in there. We did have it because I remember we looked at it. Well, I think we should close the uh, or whatever ordinance we end up, I mean, if we pass an ordinance, it should resemble the, the the county border closely as possible. Otherwise, so just, yeah. otherwise it just creates confusion for Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, not, I mean, if, other than I, you know, I, if, uh, of course, I know Fairfield's not doing it, but Baker still says you can go 50 miles an hour on the main road. I don't want to, I don't want to follow that. Or, they got to follow the speed limit at least. Right. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just seeing here, uh, if, if, for the most part, traffic laws, traffic laws are all the same as state of Mahomes in the court. You know, what we, I mean, to have a, uh, uh, the hours of operation different in every town, it's <laughs> be kind of, you know, always. Yeah, you better get through Sheldon by this time so it can get to <laughs> Right. But I, oh, I did go faster than two shots. <laughs> but I do that. That is just like I understand. I agree. I uh, in reading some of the other ones that that seem to be the house operation that most people use. I don't see a ton of different changes, but like the ones that we I to, our comfort level. I I want to, I'll have a, I'm gonna. I'll take that. I'll have Katie get me all the uh, ordinances of the towns that are allowing it, and then we'll I'll prepare and. Start molding it. You know, yeah. I'll uh, mold it up a little bit and get us another draft for the next meeting and meeting after the next. Yeah. We just want some common sense. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that any of us want that Joe can put in before we even, before what well, is right now? So I know we want to change the age of 16. And the yeah. yep, speed limit. Speed limit to 25 or 30. Below the register, it, so. or if Williamstown did 20, I think 25 or 25. 25. Williamstown, Williamstown has 20, Newport has 35. Well, well I'd say that is would be 35. Not to exceed. Not to exceed 35 miles an hour. And then in, 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 in the village, it's 25. So not to exceed 35. Most of them. Most of those side by side, that's, that's their comfortable running range. Mm -hmm. Right in that 
25 to 35 miles an hour. I can tell you, I went to Newport. Hmm? I went to Newport. Can you go to Newport? And Seth, did you say that one of those has something in there? You did what? Yeah. We drove through Newport. Yeah, it's both of them. It's out. I'll give you a piece. It's in Newport. Yep. How was it? It's good. Here we go, 75. Come on.